At Restore Addiction Recovery, we focused on a four-phase program. Phase one is in its own unique area. So the men live in what we call our first level. They live together, they're there for one month, and it's just an opportunity for the men to come in, begin to trust what Restore is all about, and I like to tell them, just breathe. Just breathe, get to know us, let us love on you, let us get to know you, and really at the end of that month, the men make a decision, do I want to stay for the next 11 months? But during that month, there's a lot of group discipling, there's a lot of individual counseling with licensed Christian counselors. Coming in here, um, they've been told so many things about who they are and what they should be. Um, so being able to kind of strip them of those labels that they've been given and being able to put a new label on them, like you are a child of God and, and you, are, you are an, an image bearer of God and that holds weight beyond anything that you've been told. So that's like a, a really important lesson that we try to hone into, definitely down in phase one. The men begin to understand a little bit about their addiction and what the path to long-term sobriety really looks like. Phase two is all about beginning to get back into the workforce. It's 16 weeks long. The men now have the ability to call home. They have the ability for their families to come here. So we have family day once a month, which has been a beautiful time for us to really begin to reunite the families and to see the moms and dads and kids really bonding back together and seeing that life begin to be put back together is a special day for us. So we love our family days. But during that time, the men also begin to work. So we have partnered with our community development partners to have the men work in real jobs, in real life situations. So we found some great partners that want to be part of Restore. These are not companies just looking for temporary labor. These are companies that say, we want to be part of the solution along with Restore Addiction Recovery. The men, they work a week and then they're off a week. And during that work week, they're working in real jobs, learning real, real activities, real training involvement. And the week they're off, they're learning about how to handle life without drugs. So, so in that week off, they're back to group counseling, they're back to individual counseling, they're discussing the difficulties of getting back in the job force, but that's that way of easing them back in to that life. Phase three is all about making life look more real for the guys that are still under the umbrella of Restore. So the guys begin to work not every other week, but they now work every week. It looks like a typical day. They get up, probably most of them, around 5.30. They do their devotions, they have breakfast, they pack their lunch, they go to a job, they come back, they have evening activities that look very similar to the evening activities that we have when the men aren't at Restore. But the other aspect of phase three is the men now start to get a paycheck. So they receive money from their work that we help them with bank accounts, checking accounts. We now involve different types of training while they're here. Now they're getting financial assistance, they're getting legal assistance. So that's that movement towards a life of addiction, to that life of freedom in Christ. And they're going towards those goals of how do I find a safe place to live, a strong support network, what's my job and vocation gonna look like, and where am I gonna live? Phase four is all about launch. How do we accomplish those objectives of where am I gonna live when I exit? What is my launch plan? What is my support system look like? What do I work? And how does the whole thing come together? It's been cool to see that our guys that are getting ready to leave, um, they're all pretty intentional about what church they're gonna plug into. And they spend a couple of Sundays looking at the different churches in the area. And then just seeing them form a plan of how they're going to give back. Because when they're in phase four, that's one of the things that we ask. We ask like, okay, you have received this gift of, of transformation. How are you going to give back? Um, so watching them all come up with a plan of, of how they're going to use what they've learned to help other people, whether in their own church community here at Restore, anywhere else, honestly, it doesn't really matter where they give back, but it's being able to see them be intentional about their own way to give back has been really cool. There's very few organizations, quite honestly, across the world that offer the ability to come someplace for 12 months, no money up front, leave with money in your pocket, and feel like you've truly transformed from the inside out.